it's Doris with Aldi Books. And for day two of Vlogmas, I thought I'd give you a bookshelf tour. I'm not going to show you book by book, um, but I thought I would just show you how I've organized my books now that I have, you know, both sides of the bookshelf available to spread out, give all my books some breathing room, and talk to you a little bit about how they're organized. And to make it, you know, a little more exciting, I thought I would make myself play a game of what book, if I, if I had to go minimal and just save one book from each section of these shelves, which one book would it be? And no cheating. Like, I can only pick one book from each one section, so... Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is a vintage library table and the shelving unit is dun, 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 double sided. So I rearranged my room so that you could see both sides, pretty snazzy. I've also got this table with, you know, my crafting stuff and my little cart. I do my filming on there and these two TBR shelves here. So anyway, let's start over here. And on the top, I've got my Native American books, not many so far. And this is my um, Hispanic heritage books here. And then here are memoirs and my graphic novel collection. So Let's see. In the memoirs, I would have to choose um, Educated, hands down. That was a brilliant, brilliant read this year. Um, and <laughs> these are subject to change. You know, if I ask myself tomorrow, I'm sure I'm going to have different opinions on some of them. Uh, with the graphic novels, this is tough because these are great. These are great. These are great. Uh, but I want to pick these, but I'm going to have to go with Persepolis just because I read this last year and read it three times in a year. <laughs> so I think that really speaks to my love for that book. Okay. And then, so this are the Hispanic Heritage. These are some of my little collections here. Um, these are cat books. These three in the middle are fish books, and these are horses. So, out of these, hmm, I think I'll have to go with Nostalgia and pick a Black Stallion book, probably. This is my very favorite Black Stallion of all time, so yes, that one. The Black Stallion's Courage. Okay, and then these two... These are um, Black History Month and Civil Rights on these two shelves. So in this cubby, oh my goodness, I loved this one and I loved this one, but this really is not fair at all that To Kill a Mockingbird happens to be here because I can never not be without that book. Um, and then down here, um, I'm going to go with We Were Eight Years in Power by Tana Hesse Coates because, oh, the deep thoughts in here. I could just think about them all year and then start again the next year. So, yes, that's what we're doing there. And then in this section, these two are um, Asian, my Asian collection. And on this shelf, oh, Amy Tan, no doubt. Joylet Club, definitely. She is a brilliant author. She's just, her writing is so beautiful. And then down here, oh, oh, Human Acts. This was just, I mean, and look at that cover too. I mean, if you're going to have a cover by in your collection, that would be it. All right. And then this is another little collection. These are my, my bee books. I love bees. And my, um, 
Alice in Wonderlands, and short story collections. So, I loved this, A Sting in the Tail, but I've had a couple of nonfiction already. So, I think I'll go with Florida by Lauren Groff. I know this has mixed reviews on BookTube, but um, I am from North Florida and she wrote the landscape of Florida so beautifully. I just loved, I loved the way she wrote my, my part of the world. And then these are um, Middle Eastern or books from the um, Jewish and Muslim perspectives. So here, oh man. See, I'm in such a nonfiction mood right now. Uh, um, I'm going to go with Letters to a Young Muslim. This one really, I feel like I really connected with this author's thoughts on life so well. Uh, we're just like right there together. So I'm going to go with that one. And then down here, um, Khaled Hosseini is my man, definitely. So I'm going to go with his most recent, And the Mountains Echoed. I love that one. That one's written in um, like short story collection kind of way. So, I mean, they're interconnected, so they make a novel, but loved it. And it's not quite as dark as his first. Um, so yeah, over here now, these are nonfiction and more nonfiction. Actually, these aren't all nonfiction. These are some World War II novels as well. So here, these are my, um, a lot of adventure nonfiction in here. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, the lost city of the monkey god just because uh, I've lived in Honduras and this one really you know you feel nostalgia for books you know what I mean and then down here um, oh I don't know none of these are calling to me do you know what I said I wasn't gonna cheat though But I would like to forego, okay, if I had to, I would probably pick the 666 but I would like to forego this shelf and save one of these. This will be my save. So I'm going to save, do I save Hidden Figures or Washington Black? I'm going to save Washington Black just because I've got a lot of nonfiction in my minimalist collection here okay so we are back to okay these are um books focused on relationships so these are young young people to hear and these are older people relationships if that makes sense so same here young and old so young protagonist and older protagonist. So this one is like a nightmare to choose one. Absolute nightmare. This is prose poetry focused on the um, the Great Depression and it's absolutely gorgeous. This was delightful. Oh my goodness, the depth in this one. This one is just so brilliant. And this one made me feel so happy. <laughs> so very, very happy. But I think I'm going to have to go with this one. I just, you know, wow. Wow, there's so much to think about in there. And then down here, okay, A Prayer for Owen Meany is another all-time favorite. This one was just, wow, so deep. Delightful as well. Oh man, this is a hard choice. Dang. Do I go with an all-time favorite? Oh, 
a new brilliance. Oh man. Oh. I don't know, guys. Any, 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 mo catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Moron Lama told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Oh, absolute darling. Look at that. That's gonna hurt later. Okay, so, okay, this isn't real. I get to keep all my books, so it's not real. Okay, these are my Mary Stewart's and my Anya Seaton's, and this is my only Persephone and my Jane Austen's. These are the pretty cover collection. <laughs> so, um, but definitely we would save a Jane Austen. Do we save Emma or Pride and Prejudice? I know most of you would say Pride and Prejudice, but I really like Emma. She, she just delights me. I'm going to save Emma today. I'll save Pride and Prejudice tomorrow. Okay, and then some more. These three just go together in my mind for reasons. And these are like kind of psychological literary fiction. Um, so I'm going to pick. The overstory, I think. That was some beautiful writing in there. And you know I love me some trees. Okay, and then here, I think this is mostly Victorian and then what you would consider classics. So, yeah. And let me just check and make sure I'm not missing anything important. But, no, I don't see anything important. So, definitely have to be my new love. Far From the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Oh my gosh, did I love that. And then my old classics. Some of these are raggedy. You can't even see all those in there, but the lighting is bad. But, oh dear. Do I save John Steinbeck or Tolkien? Oh my goodness. My goodness, my goodness, this is painful. I'm gonna have to cheat, guys. I can't, I can't choose. I'm gonna have to take the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and Steinbeck. Do I take East of Eden, or Grapes of Wrath, or Cannery Row? Man. Oh, man. Jacqueline, what do you think? I know you would say East of Eden. Oh, I'm just I'm just gonna leave you hanging there, guys, because I can't. I can't. These are my old BFFs. Okay. okay. Guys, that was difficult. Thank goodness it's not real. I get to keep all my books. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye.